hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be doing a first impressions i'm so excited because i feel like i haven't done one of these in a while so we are just sitting down getting ready together and testing out some new makeup so before we get started, if you guys haven't already, I would highly appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe button as well as hit that notification bell. That way you will not miss any future uploads. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's get started. Um, the first thing that I am going to try, which I'm so excited for, is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Skin Perfecting Oil Primer. If you guys have not seen my almost using a full face of Jaclyn Cosmetics video, I will go ahead and link that down below, but I really wish I had this before I filmed that video, um, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, so I'm so excited to give this a try. I did buy this like right when it launched. I'm so behind with filming, guys. It's not even funny. Um, so I am just getting to this now. This is what it looks like. It is just, uh, I'm just so excited. And I feel like right now in the winter, I just need it the most. I'm not even gonna lie. Especially around right here. Like my skincare is still pretty fresh. Um, I did do it about an hour ago now. Um, but I'm still looking a little dewy from my skincare. I'm trying to see if it smells like something. So just the littlest. I know, I think I put too much, to be honest. Well, that is hydrating. I'm gonna start spreading this along. The foundation that I'm gonna use is a matte foundation, so it's probably not gonna look matte by the time that I'm done priming my face. My skin looks oily and slippery, but it doesn't really feel like, it does feel like I just put an oil on, but it doesn't feel as like slippery as my face looks but I am feeling very hydrating right now so that's good and it just has like a it has a scent but it's not like a strong perfume fragrance scent it might just be its natural scent um, prep prime and nourish nourish skin for for a radiant lit from within glow wear alone or under makeup for a natural dewy finish so yeah so something from Touch and Soul that I also wanted to try, this is the Icy Sherbet Primer. It is the silicone free and cooling effect primer. So this is what it looks like. And I am one that really does like my Touch and Soul primers. I have so many of their primers. They're different ones and I absolutely love them. So when I saw this one, I got very excited. This is what it looks like. Ooh, it smells really good. So I'm just going to take a little bit from the lid, actually. I feel like this is going to last a very long time. And all I'm doing is putting this right where my pores are. Ooh, And you can see it kind of dimmed down that shine just a little bit. So I'm not going to put this all over my face because that oil really did a good job at like priming my skin. But I'm just going to kind of put this where my pores are. This smells so good. It's not a huge difference. So I don't see a huge difference in my pores. It could be because I have the oil underneath it. I will continue to test this on its own. I'm so excited to try this foundation. It is from Touch and Soul. They have, they had this out for a while, but every, like when I discovered it on Instagram, I was like, wait, they have a foundation? I didn't even know they have a foundation. Um, I just know them for their primers and of course purchased it right away. I hope that this is my shade because I think when I purchased it, I still had like a summer tan going on. So this might be a little bit too um, yellow for me, but we will go ahead and make it work. It's like I haven't seen anyone use this on YouTube either. So it is the Pretty Filter Perfect Finish, Finish Foundation from Touch and Soul. And it is a long wear matte foundation with full coverage, blurs pores, lines, and wrinkles, offering flawless makeup. So, let's see. I feel like the bottle looks all oily because my hands are all, all oily. So starting, I'm starting off with one pump, and then I'm just gonna go in one, like a half a pump more. I'm just gonna go ahead with a buffing brush so I'm just making sure I don't have any brush strokes 
sometimes with thicker foundations you notice it more right now it looks really really pretty on the skin and I thought it was gonna be too dark but it really doesn't look super super dark it looks a little bit dark in person but on camera I feel like it looks fine but in person just a little bit of a difference but that's okay so so far I do like it this is only first impressions like always so I don't know you know how long it's gonna wear anything like that but for right now it is it seems like a good foundation so for concealer this is the one that we are going to use it is from Joa and and this is their wand me up concealer so I didn't even tell you what shade I used for this shade for foundation so this shade it just says medium this one is also in the shade medium so it's JWC 20 medium um, oh I still have the sticker So we are going to pop this on. I don't even know the claims of this concealer because I it didn't come in like packaging. I'm just going to use my e.l.f. This concealer looks really, really nice. It's not full coverage. I would say it's more like maybe medium, medium to buildable. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more, but it looks super like creamy and hydrating under the eye. It doesn't look drying or cakey, so I'm really excited. All right, so to bronze up my skin and to do a little contour, I'm gonna use the Persona Bronze Stick, so it might just be more bronzy than contouring, so we will see. Um, in the stick, it, like on camera, it looks a little bit warm, but in person, it looks a little bit more cool toned. So we will see. Oh, it's so creamy. This is probably going to do a little bit more bronzing than contouring, but that's okay. It literally goes on like a melting butter stick. Ooh. This is the angled buffing brush from e.l.f. So I'm just going to use that to buff in. Ooh, do you see how easy that like melted into the skin? So normally I say don't like stroke down, but when I do my jawline, I kind of want the contour under my jaw. So not like right here that it makes me look like I have like a beard shadow. So even though this foundation is supposed to be matte, it's not looking matte at all just because of all the like, because of the primer oil underneath. So just know that. So if you want to see this foundation in its like natural state, let me know. I can try it again on camera, just using a regular primer, nothing that's gonna alter its finish. Um, but it's really, really, really pretty. So this concealer is holding up pretty well. There is a little bit of fine line creasing, but nothing too crazy so i'm just gonna quickly blend those out and then i'm just going to use the number seven translucent perfect light press powder to set my under eyes under the top of my lid and then to set the rest of my face I'm going to be using the glowish luminous powder from Huda Beauty so this is a pressed powder so I think is it on their website that they advertise this as a foundation I saw somewhere that it was like shown as like as a foundation Huda Beauty kind of shows you how you can apply it as a foundation or just kind of like you know buffing it over the skin on top of like something else i do think it's a bit glowy to to use on its own as a foundation like going in ham with like a sponge and like putting it on your face i have tried this already so it's not really first impressions um 
I do think it would be better as just like a light dusting over the face, but I have not tried that way yet. So we are gonna give it a try. Just kind of using it more as a setting powder that's still gonna give you that glow and not make you look flat and matte, but we'll see. So this is the shade I got. I got it in 04 light medium. Use this to, oh my goodness guys, did you not, you're not gonna tell me that I forgot to blend out my, contour oops trying to go very light-handed with it because again this can be very glowy but it is working as it's toning down the oiliness but it's still letting me have a nice beautiful glow now I have pores I have texture I have acne so because of that I don't like it as a foundation powder okay so it definitely set my makeup and my skin looks beautiful it looks glowy it gives me that glow from within but i don't look like a tin man like let me try to show you guys so this is with a brush i'm just going to try to show you on the back of my hand how like you have that nice glow you see that it looks literally beautiful but when you use a sponge, you're gonna get coverage, like a little bit of a, like a, I don't know how to explain it. But I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. It might not look like much of a difference on camera, like on my hands. Let me just build it up so that way you can kind of see, because on the skin you are kind of building it up so that way you get the coverage if you're using it as a foundation. So I think that kind of helps a little bit more. So that's just with two layers. So with a brush, like I can even show you again, like buffing it onto the skin. If you can see the difference, this you're having a glow, like you get a glow and your skin looks healthy and hydrated and just, you know, beautiful. Here, you kind of just look like tin man you know what i mean like it's just a little too shiny too metallic -y. so if you go in with a super light hand i think that's going to be your way to do it i mean if you have flawless very young poreless skin you might even like it this way as well but for me i think i prefer it just as like a setting powder um because i do like to set my face and have my makeup like not move and slip around but i hate the fact how most powders make me look flat and matte and i do like to look healthy and glowy and just like mm, i'm drinking my water most of the time there are times where i do like an all matte look but most of the time i do still want to look glowy and healthy but not oily or slippery you know what i mean so also for a powder bronzer i'm going to use this one from lys and this one is the in the shade motivates and it is their light shade i'm going to use this brush from Lorelei. I haven't used it yet. It's the L22 brush. Ooh. I don't know if it's like the brush, but this powder literally is like almost a filter on top of your skin. It just kind of like, wow. I'm gonna have a good makeup day, guys. Ooh, I love this brush because like, to, even to contour, but even to bronze, it's not a bad brush because you can focus it in a specific area and you're not gonna like get too of a wide area. All right, so I finished bronzing. For blush, I'm just gonna quickly use the Almay blush. This one is the shade 100 Nearly Nude. This is not a first impressions. I've used this blush several times. This blush also kind of gives you like a glow from within as well, but it's not like a super metallic-y, highlight-y blush. All right, and then to add a little bit more glow to the face, because why not? We are gonna be using the Glodiant Makeup Palette, the Glodiant Makeup Palette from Touch and Soul. So lots of products from Touch and Soul today. Um, and this is just their like 
it's like a gradient highlighter bar it literally looks so stunning and i cannot wait to put it on my face so i think i'm going to go into this part right here and i do like how it's wide enough for you to put your brush in Ooh, that's stunning Sometimes when they do these palettes, it's like it's so thin, but you literally can like go in normally and pick up the perfect amount. And then whatever's left on my brush, I'm kind of just gonna put a little bit. That's so pretty. I really do like that. I'm gonna quickly do brows off camera. I'm just gonna use the Oma Beauty by Sharon um, C. This is a product you can get at Walmart. I'm gonna quickly use this. This one is in the shade 03. It matches my like reddish tint hair um, perfectly well. So I that's why I keep using this because it's the only one that matches my hair right now. And I'm trying to use it up so that way I can change my hair. So be right back. All right, so the brows are on. Are they perfect? No, they both need to be groomed, but even when this one needs to be groomed, it still comes out like in its normal shape. This one just becomes a hair, like a hairy bush and just does not want to cooperate at all. So we're just gonna ignore the fact that I don't know what's happening. So anywho, we are gonna just keep, keep it going. For eyes, I really wanted to try this out. This is the Five in the Box Mini Eyeshadow Palette from Catrice. And this one is um, in the, this is 030 Warm Spice Look. And this is supposed to have rose oil in it. So that seems pretty interesting. But this is what the palette looks like. It really does remind me of like the Bite Eyeshadow palettes. Um, some people were saying that it's kind of like a dupe for the mini, mini Natasha Denona eyeshadows. Um, I have like her five pan eyeshadows, but it's not like this small. It's like a normal size. So... I never tried her mini mini one so I don't know but we are gonna give this a go so of course I'm just gonna dip into this shade right here um, just because this one is just way too late to use as a transition shade I'm just gonna go in a light hand and then I'm gonna go into this shade just so that way I can kind of use it to, just so I can use it to buff it a little bit between the crease and the brow bone, just so that way it kind of looks a little bit more like a transition shade. I'm kind of just focusing that more at the top. And then I'm gonna go back into the shade here. And focus that more in the crease but not bring it back up all right so next I'm just gonna go into the shade right here and I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of just put that all over the eye and it is just like a very it's not a, it's not a super like metallic -y, shimmery shade it's more like a sheen which is fine. I don't expect every shade with shimmer to be like super metallic-y and out of this world. I'm gonna take this shade again and just put that on my brow bone area, which these brows are driving me crazy. And then I'm just gonna dip into this shade right here and see if I can use that as like a highlight or mm, not getting much from it. So I'm just gonna go back into this palette and use probably the same shade that I used for my highlight. There we go. And then I'm just gonna use this, this same shade and go on my lower lash line. So 
So I kind of just dug my nail in this brown. I'm not going to use this brown, um, but it's nice that you can take this look from like morning, from day to night, um, by just adding like a darker color to like the outer and just kind of sauteing it up. I don't even know that's a word, but anyways, moving on. So to finish this eye look, we are actually going to go in and dazzle it up a little bit more. And I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Shimmer Top Coat. So I'm not going to lie, I have already dug into this, so this is not quite first impressions. I had used this two to three times already, um, but I've never used it as a top coat. I only used it as its own like cream eyeshadow. Um, so we will see. It literally looks so freaking like stunning and wet. It just looks so gorgeous. So this is what it looks like. The packaging I feel is a little thick for what it is because as you can see, um, you're only getting like this much. So, but anyways, it's really cute, pretty packaging. So we are gonna just kind of dab this on the eye. I don't want to really swipe a whole lot, which kind of is makes it hard to apply it as a top coat because you kind of are just like, ooh, it makes it look really pretty though. Like if you use it as just a top coat, because it just gives that little. You see the difference? Like here it's kind of like flat, and here it's like shimmery. Um, so if you really want like it's full effect, you're going to have to go in with no eyeshadow and do like a really nice like sweep, sweep of the motion. But for a top coat, I'm just kind of topping it. Oh, it looks so pretty. And it's so weird because they feel wet or like gel-like, but, oh, do you see that? literally makes you look like you have some sort of like gloss on the eye so pretty for liner i'm actually going to go in with this one this was from jillia's beauty and it's supposed to be like a stamp and liner thing i don't know i kind of don't want to ruin this look but i guess we will kind of give it a go and see i just don't know ah, i don't want to mess up this look and to be honest i don't think i want liner today so i'm sorry i'm just i'm going to try this in a video just not in this one i just don't want to I didn't, i'm just looking at the eye look and i just really don't want like liner right now i just don't so I will try this in another video, I promise. For mascara, I'm gonna try this one. It's from Joa, Lash Up Rising Mascara. It's supposed to be volumizing and lengthening. Um, I hear a lot of good things about this mascara. I don't have my lash curler with me, um, so we are just gonna kinda go with it. That's one coat, if you guys can see. Now, I am using a lash serum, so my lashes are a little bit longer, not at its full length yet, but I am, I want to say, mm, I think I'm like a month and a half into using the lash serum, so I'm just really kind of testing this out more for myself. I really don't feel like I want to give a review or test mascaras anymore with using a lash serum because I just hate because I can't get the full effect of how a lash mascara is like I don't I feel like when I'm watching a review on someone who has long beautiful lashes whether it's their own or they're using a lash serum yeah they can tell if they like it knowing their lashes but like I can't tell if I like it because I'm like I don't like your lashes are already super long and lengthening, so like if I'm looking for a mascara that's going to lengthen my lashes, I don't, I can't tell how lengthening it is because your lashes are already so long. Um, so when I'm using mascaras on my channel, I think for now on, it's not so much of you know unless it's like a volumizing curl mascara, then I can guess you guys can see, but I don't want to like give you guys like false hope you know because I've been there like look at that 
I feel like it kind of gives you, um, I don't know how to like explain it. Like, I feel like it gives you not spidery lashes, but it does give you like those. I don't know how to say spidery without like, you know what I mean? Like, do you see like, it just makes your lashes. I don't want to say fluffy cause they, they don't look fluffy, but they kind of look just, they look nice. Okay. They look nice. It's not a super wet mascara. That's not like a really, really dry either. So this, these lashes on this side always have a little bit of a hard time keeping up with the lashes on the other side. So I don't really go in with a third coat, but I kind of focus more on the tips just to give me a little bit more, ugh, just so it matches the other side. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll go back in later and do my my lower lashes but for right now i'm going to go in with the jacqueline cosmetics lip lacquer and this one is in the shade cookie so this was another thing that i purchased from her holiday collection and i have used it i think twice so far if i'm not mistaken and i really do like it it looks like really like gummy and like sticky but when you have it on the lips it's freaking beautiful and I feel like the stickiness that you do feel it's just more for that like longer stay power oh god okay a little like gunk of it just kind of came out and fell on my powder so that's not Fun. All right, so this is what this looks like. But anywho, look how just beautiful this looks. It looks so beautiful. It's like, it's a lip lacquer, so it's like a hybrid between a liquid lip and a lip gloss, and it's just literally so beautiful. I love the shade. I feel like the shade is warm enough to use like in the fall, um, and it's so nice to use around the holidays, but also it's a good shade to use, you know, if you have it still in your collection for like spring and summer, so it's just, so good i just love it so much um so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead apply lower mascara quickly do my hair and i'll be right back all right so i straightened my hair so i don't look like a crazy person and then to set my face i'm just gonna use the Ciate london everyday vacay setting spray give it a good shake and kind of hide my hair for a bit it's already looking like it needs to be washed already which is crazy Good, good, good go. Okay. So I'm gonna let that dry a bit. All right. So this is the final look. I honestly think the skin looks as flawless as it can get. And yeah, I just love how everything came out. I love how glowy everything looks and how just like just ooh, it's just so good hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching until next time bye